What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome back to MKO Boxing, aka MKO Pugilism. Yeah, where we talk all things boxing. So, yeah, like and subscribe on YouTube, follow me on TikTok, all that good stuff. So, yeah, let's talk a bit about the uh, boxer card that's uh, going on right now. So, I'm just going to um, look at one of the fights that took place on there, um, which was Adam Azim versus O'Hara Davies. Um, these are guys that are friends. Um, both came up um, under uh, Tunde Ajayi, um, had involvement with Tony Cisse uh, in the old days, the amateur days. So these are guys that knew each other going in. Adam Azim, of course, um, the favourite to, to win this fight going in. And um, yeah, he certainly uh, lived up to the hype. He certainly lived up to... Um, you know that being that favorite in the in this uh, fight here, um, as from the very beginning, um, O'Hara Davies uh, was you know started pretty slow, and um, we saw the the sort of difference in speed. Um, very that was very very apparent from from the very beginning of this fight. Um, you know Adam Azim was able to get in do his damage, step back a little bit. And it was like O'Hara Davies um, was sort of always playing catch up in this fight. He he wasn't really able to get his shots off because by the time he's trying to get his shots off, it's too late. Azim sort of taken a little step back and then gone back in. And, you know, by the time O'Hara Davies is trying to do his work, he's missing with big hooks and he's sort of missing with shots and, and, punching at the wrong times and you know he, he just wasn't really able to uh come to grips with with that speed advantage that azim has and they, they say um it, you know in boxing that uh timing can beat speed or timing beat speed well you know in this particular fight o'hara davies uh couldn't manage to get the timing down at all and, um, you know, as I say, he, he did land a few shots, but again, it was just too few and far between. So while he's taking combinations off of Adam Azim and Adam Azim's basically lighting him up, landing, you know, threes and fours and then being able to get out of range and, and you know, avoid any counters by O'Hara Davies. I mean, yeah, it's it, pretty much Azim had this fight his own, his own way, practically the whole thing and um <clears throat> as i say he's winning all the rounds pretty much it, it you know you may give ahara davies a round but that's about it i mean very dominant by adam azim just getting in there doing damage uh landing some very good combinations it manages to put ahara davies down in the uh fifth round and, you know, you could tell from there the right was on the wall. They managed to bust up Davies. I think his nose was, was bleeding. So there was blood on Aura Davies. And then as the fight goes on, you just kind of knew that it's a matter of time. And Azim continuous gets in, throws the combinations, avoids the counters of Aura Davies, uses the ring very well, uses his feet very well. And eventually um, he gets rid of Aura Davies, you know, knocking him out in the uh, eighth round and that was it that was the end of of the uh, fight there um and it's just a case of simply as i say the speed of azim was was just too much and the, the punch variety and um davies just just couldn't really keep up he just wasn't up to the task and he just didn't have the sort of um i don't know maybe you could call it the ring iq or the 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 abilities or the smarts to kind of uh get around that speed of of Azim. He just couldn't really adjust to it. And as I say, he, he just couldn't get the timing right to to sort of punch between Azim's punches and to sort of um you know to to counter him effectively. He just wasn't able to do that. Azim was just too quick, too young and just too fresh. So yeah, that's what happened. Very good victory for Azim. And um, yeah, onwards and upwards for him. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this performance and who you'd like to see um, Adam Azim fight next. And until next time, it's MKO Boxing over and out.